Hi guys, it's Gordy and welcome back to my channel. So today is gonna be part 5 of my Guide to Cosplay Masquerade series. Alright guys, so we're finally in the end game now, the masquerade itself. I really don't have to explain too much at this point, you probably all know what you're getting into by now. So let's just dive right into my tips on how to survive the masquerade itself. Let's get started. Okay, so my first tip is to be aware of any mandatory call times that you may have. Every masquerade runs a little differently, but the ones that you may encounter the most are the following. The first is a morning meeting, which is usually the morning of the masquerade. These can be very important because this is when they take the final roll call, and if you do not go to this meeting, you will be disqualified. However, for the morning meetings, your entire team does not have to be there. So if not all of you are up for going, just send one person to represent your team. The next call time you may be required to attend is a tech rehearsal. Some masquerades will kind of do their tech rehearsals all at once right before the masquerade starts. Other conventions like ALA may ask you to schedule a time slot for a one-on-one -on -one tech rehearsal. And the last time you'll encounter is the time you need to gather for the masquerade itself. Usually they will give you a designated time and a place in the convention center to go to, and then everyone will usher you inside the main stage before the masquerade starts. Alright, so my second tip is in regards of what to do during your downtime. This is especially important if your pre-judging was on the same day as the actual masquerade. Um, I would definitely get yourself something to eat before the masquerade starts. Um, you definitely don't want to be doing a masquerade on an empty stomach. If you're worried about getting food on your costume, I would recommend either taking your costume off and putting on something casual, or if you don't want to take it off, I would put something over it while you're eating your food. Another thing to do during your downtime is to make time to use the bathroom. While most masquerades will allow you to use the bathroom even during the masquerade itself, it's still a good idea just to get it done right away because, you know, if you have to use the bathroom right before you have to go on stage, that could cause some problems in the long run. And one final note, if your pre-judging happened on a different day of the masquerade, I would use your pre-judging day as a day to take pictures. Because then you're gonna, you can take as much time as you need to, you know, get the best pictures that you want, and then you're not have to worry about stressing about the masquerade itself. Alright, so my third tip is to bring an emergency kit. Although a lot of masquerades are now offering emergency repair supplies in the backstage, I would still bring my own, just because, you know, what if they don't have what you need for your costume? Some things to consider include a sewing kit, um, some type of glue, makeup touch-ups, eye contact solution, safety pins, bobby pins, a lot of pins. <laughs> and any power tools you may need if you're doing any props and armor or anything electronic. Okay, so tip number four, final preparations. Check to make sure that your costume is okay and that everything is laying the way it needs to be laid. If you're doing a skit, I would find some space around you to do like a final rehearsal, even if you can only just do like a step through of it instead of like a full throttle rehearsal. If you're in a group, I would talk it over with your um, group mates and you know, for any final changes or any concerns that you have. Oh, and if you're doing anything strenuous, stretch. Please stretch. Alright, so tip number five. Take a deep breath and go on stage. I know the minutes leading up to you getting on stage can be the most nerve-wracking part of your life. You may feel really stressed, you may start to blank, but just take a deep breath and relax and just center yourself. Just tell yourself this, you've made it this far, you just have to get to the end. Take a deep breath, don't overthink yourself, and get out there and do your thing. And my last tip, tip number six, is to be a graceful winner or a graceful loser. If you've won something, congratulations, call your mom, go celebrate, have a great time. But don't be mean and rub it in everyone's faces, okay? Like, no one likes somebody being cocky. And if you haven't won anything, please don't feel down on yourself. Sometimes if you don't win anything, it's not even something that was your fault. It could have just been that the judges felt that there were other contestants more deserving of prizes than you were. But it doesn't mean you necessarily had anything wrong with your costume in the first place. Please don't go around, you know, ranting to everybody. Don't go like, you know, accusing the judges of favoritism or, you know, riggery or somebody cheated. Please don't do anything like that. And if you do want to bring up, you know, favoritism or rigging or cheating, before you go to the judges or the organizers to, fight, to you know, accuse somebody of this, ask yourself 
did do you really have any hard proof that this occurred or is this just your emotions getting the better of you so really think about that before you start blabbing your mouth or worse blabbing to the judges and the organizers that you know somebody shouldn't have deserved what they want but regardless of whether you win or lose the biggest celebration that you should be having is that congratulations you made it to the end you made it through masquerade you survived you did your thing i hope you had a good time no matter what Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Um, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. I would love to continue this series and talking about other aspects of masquerades, which I'll probably have to do um, after ALA is done because I'm still in the middle of Con Crunch right now. I will put up a poll in my community tab for you guys to vote on new topics that I can talk about for a guide to cosplay masquerades. Or if you have an idea yourself, please feel free to tell me in the comments below. Please subscribe to this channel if you want to see more cosplay content from me. If you want to see me dance, please check out my dance channel. And if you want to support me even more, please feel free to drop a donation on Ko-fi. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye bye